What's up, everybody? Sparrowwood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we kind of derped up and managed to get all the way to the Founder's World to buy a Imperial Clipper before this guy realized I'm not a Baron for the Empire yet. <sighs> so, alas, you will notice we are traveling. I am traveling to Avalon because there is currently a new Imperial bounty hunting community event going on. Oh yeah. So we all know how much money we made off the last community event bounty hunting mission, which is awesome. Um, but this is actually for the Empire. The other one was for the Alliance. Um, needless to say, if I don't end up being able to rank up by the end of that event, we've got problems. I might even be able to rank up before that if I'm turning in bounties and things like that. I mean, like, millions of credits and bounties. Stuff like Ooh, conflict zones. Nope. Nope. Pay attention. Um, so I am heading over there. It shouldn't be too much further. We're going to fuel them. I'm gonna stop and fuel them. And fuel up. Uh, I apologize ahead of time for... If I do any snifflings or anything, my allergies have been terrible today. Like, literally, can't can't keep my nose from itching all day. So I apologize ahead of time if I do anything that's annoying or distracting like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to take a quick pit stop, or it's going to be quick for you guys, uh, in Fuelum, and fuel up my ship because of my fuel scoop. Um, which, by the way... I think we've gone over that before, um, but really good strategy if you're wanting to do a lot of traveling and stuff is to get have a fuel scoop. Um, it's not a bad idea to do the fastest routes. Just make sure that every time you jump the by the end of the fuel line where you're going to run out of fuel, that the star you're at is something you can fuel up on. Sometimes you don't always get that. Um, even on this route, I ended up having to stop one jump short of where it said I'd be out of fuel, because the one where I would have been out of fuel didn't have a star I could fuel up on. Um, so I'm going to fuel up... Uh, side note, I don't think I ever brought this up before, but I really like this about the Vulture, that it has windows on the bottom. It kind of feels like a bubble chopper in that regard, but I just like how you can look down and see out the bottom. I think that's cool. Um, Alright, so I will meet you guys in Avalon, and we will go over the community event, and then go out and find our Pray. Alrighty, so a bit of a derp up on my part. It's not Avalon where we're supposed to go. I'm, thankfully, I'm not that far off. So it's actually uh, here. Persephone. Yeah, Persephone. So it, I couldn't figure out when I looked up the uh, forum for finding the community goals, why it was telling me to go here, and yet my map told me to go to Avalon. I found out why. I don't know how this works. Like, I don't understand it. But there is a... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. There's a Persephone station in Avalon. And I was kind of like, oh. Uh. So, yeah. Not where I'm supposed to go. It's great. It's great. Now, on the plus side, where uh, Persephone is, which is where the uh, mission is, it's a very small system. There's like one planet, one belt cluster, and one outpost or station or something. So very small. But, it doesn't have one of the planets with, uh, or gas giants, or whatever you want to call them, uh, with rings around them. Which means it doesn't have a uh, resource extraction site, which means I don't really want to do my bounty hunting there. So, Avalon at least does. It has one planet with a, or a gas giant with a ring around it, um, at about... 1200 light seconds or something like that, which isn't terrible. It's a little bit of a drive, but um, it's it's not that bad. So if nothing else, if there's nothing else closer to Persephone, 
that we can use for resource extraction, uh, at least we know that's there. So I will meet you guys over there and we'll continue. Alrighty, so here we are at La... La... Um, Lom... Lom... Lombard Deli's Legacy. I'm just gonna call it Lomi's Deli. <laughs> Lom... Lom Deli. Uh, we're at, uh, Lom Deli. Here. So I've already refueled... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Let's sign up for this. How many tiers? Five tiers. Not crazy. But I usually can get within the top 40, and that's about 2 million, which is pretty good at the moment. We've got two more tiers to go. So now, uh, let's check Outbreak? They're having an outbreak. It's a zombie apocalypse. So Empire Assembly and People's Quiveria for equality are the two uh, factions that we need. So that's Empire Assembly, so that's good. We want to make sure that we're in the right place this time. Okay, so both of these would be acceptable. All may clearance means closure. Black box. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Just because if we end up running across one uh, in like a looking for different things. What? Uh... Known locations. Okay, so it's actually not here. Ugh. I wonder... I can't turn in anything, can I? No. I think I've already used all my Imperial bounties. Alright. So the next step is going to be to find a place... Oh, LH is right here. We might want to jump over there and look for the black box, actually. I'm not sure. But the next step is going to be to find a place that has an extraction site. Which that does not. Um, so let me... I'm going to go do this one, I think. And in the process, I'm also going to keep an eye out for a good system for bounty hunting. Which we might have to go back to Avalon. All these other ones that are actually... Like at a decent range are not... Oh, this one's extraction. Maybe. Ooh. You've got a couple. How far out is this station? Oh, 40. I thought it said 40, 4,000 for a minute. I was like, holy crap, nope. That one's 26,000. Alright, so that's not going anywhere. So, yeah, Quivera we might head to, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I will meet you guys in Quivera, and we'll start poking around at an extraction site. Okay, so funny thing. Kind of wanted to go over this real quick. Um, I found the black box, but when I jumped to this area... Well, that's weird. Uh, when I jumped to this area, there was actually a, a NPC transporter thing that basically was like, you know... I know you're looking for it too, kind of thing. And kind of like the other bounty missions gave me the option to um, turn it into them, but since we're going for reputation more for money, we're not going to do that. Um, Alright. Now, the other thing is I ran around this system, which is uh, deep space. There's like no anything. No stations, no nothing. Just blah. Um, and I floated around here for a while, and I kept seeing weak signal sources and stuff like that. And I was like, no, it needs to be a signal source or an unidentified one to be a mission. Apparently that's not true, because finally I was like, you know what, screw it, let's see what's in here. So I dropped in here, and it was a weak signal source, and it ended up being the black box. So apparently missions can be weak signal sources now. I don't know about strong. Uh, originally, it was those were separate instances from uh, the unidentified signal sources, and when you took out missions from a station, the unidentified ones were the ones you had to go for. So that's it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, so let's head back over here. We're going back to uh, 
lum lumber lum uh, lumber's deli. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Been looking for one of those the whole time. Didn't show up. Now, the only thing is, the act's considered illegal, or so it said. Yeah, my alternate delivery was to that other uh, union of whatever, blah, blah, blah. But they only pay like a little bit more, and I'm after the rep anyway. Um, what I wanted to see, though... Oh yeah, it looks like so the description changed to whatever. Man, I was looking to see it said act considered it illegal, but I wanted to know if that was in the system that I was in or if it's this one. Because uh, if it's this one, we'll have to. Uh, it says illicit cargo, so we'll have to go in kind of quiet, I think. Hopefully, because uh, this isn't an outpost. I have been told before for those of you that may not have heard this before, because I hadn't for a while that outposts. Um, aren't like scanned and stuff, or because here's what's here's what's going on. I guess the station doesn't actually scan you, from what I've been told. It's the um, it's the forces, the uh, system authority vessels that fly around the station that scan you. So I guess if there's no system authority vessels, you don't have to worry about it. Is the idea? We'll we'll test that out here in a minute. Um, so because there's no system authority vessels around an outpost. They make for good black market type things because apparently they don't scan you. And because they don't scan you, you're basically able to land there and sell stuff and not have to worry about doing a, a, what I call cold runs and stuff or silent running, whatever, uh, to get by the scanners. So, you know, there's that. Um, but... If there are system authority, we'll try it this time. We'll try and not do a silent run. Um, if there's no system authority vessels that show up, if there are, then we'll we'll just have to do it kind of quick. Come on, and then we'll get to <laughs> then we'll get to bounty hunting. Uh, after this, I'm gonna head to Quivera. The only exception to that would be. Um, Good, the door's right there. Uh, it does look like we've got some people. Docking request granted. I wonder if you can do... <laughs> I wonder if you can do a silent run internal security. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's go silent. silent running. And hope we don't... Offline. Hope we don't overheat. Because that would definitely be easy to do, especially in my vulture right now. It's run; it runs pretty, pretty close to the max load. Come on, haven't done a manual landing in a in a bit, and we don't have shields. Ooh, I totally forgot about that until like the last minute. Okay, um, Ooh, we are heating up. Alright, we're turning off. Just because I started to hear the little heat warning. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, the only exception to us going bounty hunting on the community mission is if we end up... Um, if we end up getting a mission because of this. That would be the only way I would switch. And corporate wage slavery. Reputation gain. Wait, so... And corporate wage slave culture. What am I doing, though? All you got to do is get two slaves to us here, and we'll make sure they get help. Oh, okay. I'll take the mission, anyway. Um... It actually doesn't say it's illegal or anything. So I'm kind of guessing it'd be fine. And it's People's Quiveria. Yeah, that's the right one. 
What is this? Pirates? I'm going to accept that because, well... Ooh, proactive combat missions. That's got to be a war zone, but it doesn't... They don't trust me enough. Hmm. Alright, so we're heading over... Wait, did I not take that mission? I thought I did. Where'd the... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Since we're going after the combat missions anyway, I might as well. Uh, apparently we have hull integrity issues. Um, Alright, so I'm going to head over to Quivera and we I will see you guys there and see what we can come up with. Alrighty, so we are here in Quivera. Or I think that's how you say it. Quivera. Sure. That one. Um, First thing we got is an adder, though this is kind of small as far as the population goes. There's not a whole lot of people in here at the moment. So that might not be an indication of whether or not it's a good spot or not. We'll just have to see as more uh, ships start coming in. Adders and, and explorers really are kind of a misnomer as far as they might represent that it's not a big, uh, a large instance, but that could also just mean that they just haven't spawned not bigger big ships explorers. yet. So, looks like we've got some more coming in now. Another explorer. Got a viper for security. What are these other ones? There's one further out. I like to see the further out ones because they tend to be bigger ships if they're going to be bigger ships. That's a sidewinder. Okay, so I'm definitely thinking that we got a smaller instance here. I could be wrong. Wow. Everything showed up now. Uh, times like these, I wish I had bigger scanners. Or sensors. But alas... I don't think I can put anything bigger in this ship. I think this ship is kind of like stuck at capacity. I don't think there's anything more I can do with it really. But I'm not seeing a whole lot to work with. So let me uh, reset the instance a few times and see if we can get a good one and then um, we'll actually start doing a bounty run. Alrighty, so that's a pretty decent sign, is the first thing that we get when we show up is an anaconda. It's always nice. Oh, and he's at 122,000 without me even scanning him. So great. What do you carry? Death, dismay, mayhem, destruction? Pick one. Yep, that's me. Useless drag. Just let me get behind you right quick, and let's light them up! Woo! You choose death! Well, yes, I do choose death. Your death. <laughs> Alrighty. I noticed that the uh, faction that this anaconda is with is the purple dragon. Purple dragons makes me think of um, I don't know how many of you have seen. makes me think of Tropic Thunder, where the one guy is trying to call in the ransom for uh, Ben Stiller. We are flaming dragon. And he just keeps getting ignored or not taken seriously. Oh, come here. Wow. He's doing work. There we go. destroyed. Alright. Oh, I thought that said bogey. It's brogy. Brogy? I don't know. I thought it said bogey. It was like, I got a bogey. I got me a bogey. Oh, no. No. I almost got a wanted value there, by the way. 
Because I just started shooting him. Ah, oh, dang it. I just started shooting him before my scanner actually was done scanning him. That could have been bad. Ooh, dropship. Yeah, we definitely got a decent instance this time. Mixed or not, we're getting a good amount of bigger ships, so I don't really care. That's the thing. There, There is a mixed instance where you'll get a little of everything. You'll get, like, smaller sidewinders and stuff, but you'll also get bigger ships. That's kind of a hit or miss, whether it works for you or not. Personally, I don't mind them that much, just because I tend to get the bigger ships and only pay attention to them, but you do get an overall better spawn rate if it's a straight big ship instance, obviously. I mean, that makes sense. Gosh, I can't wait to have a clipper that can actually handle multiple weapons like this that, you know, using... use your beam lasers, and then when they run out, you can switch to, like, something else, pulse lasers or multi-cannons or something. That would just be amazing. Be so cool. Hey, my kill. All you guys need to back off. Mine! Nice. What else we got? Type 7. I wonder if it, I don't think any of these would be... Target. What is this guy? Oh. On my radar, it looked like he was higher, but I guess that's just because he was... Lateral. Ooh, we got a clump up here. Like I said, I tend to like going for, um... Things that are higher up in the atmosphere, because it usually means that they're dropping in, or they're looking for prey, or whatever. So you tend... Sometimes, not always, I mean, it's not exactly in a exact science or anything, but you tend to get... Whoop, see, like this, you can see laser fire up here because there's stuff going on. Whereas down in the asteroids, it, it does happen, but it's not as common. Ooh, we got some stuff going on over here. This is, looks like the target. This has to be a bigger ship up here, because there was a bunch of them shooting at him. Ooh, we got a drop ship. Oh, unless they finished him off. Man! Freaking Defense Force people. You guys can go home. This is my job. Get out of here. Alrighty. Die on me! Okay, now die on me. That's how we do it, people. Target destroyed. Wow, there are so many in t uh, security forces here. It's crazy. Get out of here. My job. Everybody, leave me alone. Uh, this. Okay, cool. This is an empire system. So basically, anything that's wanted here already automatically has empire bounties, which is awesome. It's exactly what we want. Alright. Now, if I were... Oh, one other thing that I wanted to look up. Is, is this counting? No, it's not. But I think it has to do with a certain class of ship. I'm not entirely positive on that front. But I've been told, I, th I feel like I've been told before that it has to be like eagles and stuff for it to count as being a pirate or something. I don't know. I just shoot everything with a wanted label on it and see what happens. Oop. Wow. That's some beam laserage. Dang. Somebody's doing something. What kind of ship is this? This Oh, it's a clipper. See? It can handle those beam weapons. I'm a coming. I'm coming, transport. Don't worry, I got your back.
Oh! Transport's doing work. He's fighting back. Though that might be the mining laser, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Pick on somebody your own size, or of your own firepower, I guess is probably more accurate. Right in the face! On another interesting note, I didn't actually realize that the clipper is supposed to be pretty fast. I thought it would be a bit slower because it's um, heavier, but I guess the maneuverability is a little slower. No way. Yes! Killing blow ramming. <laughs> when in doubt, run right into him. Works every time. Not really. Usually ends up in you dying, but you know, if it works, it works. Just make sure you have your shields when you decide to ram, because otherwise you end up being the one that dies. Bye. I like how we're doing this little like dance thing where we've almost got synchronized speeds and we're just like moving around. Detected. Really? Under really? Get over here. There we go. Hey, he got his shields up! Yay, good for him. Ooh, 71, that's pretty good. Uh, Python. Let's see what you're at. I'm often surprised by how many of the pythons actually aren't wanted. Which is weird to me. They seem like they're more of an aggressive style of ship, so... Oh, I keep forgetting I can't look away while I'm scanning. Dagnabbit. There we go. Now, if you'd be so kind as to... Dude, guys, seriously, get out of the way. If you'd be so kind as to die for me. Thank you. Binky? What? Really? Binky? Seriously. That's the best name we could come up with for a federal dropship. Binky. Alright, Binky. Where's Prane? Ha ha ha. Like, you can just keep pulsing the weapon since I'm not letting it recharge. I think that's great. Binky go boom! Alright, let's see what else we got here. I wonder if a Sidewinder would count. Let's see if that Sidewinder's wanted. I guess an Adder might. I do kind of want to complete that bounty at some point. I lost the Sidewinder, he went somewhere. Don't finish the battle without me! I'm coming! Dang! Where are they? I'm not even getting any blips. Kill each other? No, they blew him up. Dang it. Frickin' security forces. Stop taking my kills. Alright, I'm not 
not seeing anything. What are we at currently? Oop, we got cobras. What if they count? Oh, they're mining. Looks like. Uh, this could be a little wing of a squad. That looks like a clipper. I'm on to you. Got you. Get ready and strafing run. Element of surprise. Oh, yeah. Sneak attack. Wow, he didn't even fire a shot. No wonder he's a novice. It makes more sense. Target destroyed. Frameship charge detected. They're running. We got a runner! Come on! Oh, really? Are you kidding me? This is why I hate Cobras. They always can outrun me. Wait a minute. Did I see what I thought I saw? Under attack. I did not. I thought I saw an anaconda on the list. Ooh, there's a Sidewinder. Let's check them out. See if killing one of them... I mean, obviously they have to be wanted. Can't just kill a Sidewinder and see what happens. <clears throat> the Universal Alchemist. What?! What random name generator do they have that's coming up with these names? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Well, oh, I started to check before we were rudely interrupted before. Is where are we at with this? 256 in Federation. 440,000 Empire. That's what I'm talking about. It's actually getting to where it's not really ending up that hard to get a decent amount of... What? Okay. Names. Let's just, let's just stop right here and look at these names. These are hilarious. Dracula Bloodstone. The Universal Alchemist, Thomas of Bath? Meridio... Meridio... I don't know. Murder, murderous Thunder, that's what I see. <laughs> oh my gosh, these names are just hilarious. Universal Alchemist, Dracula Bloodstone, and Thomas of Bath. That's just so great. Alright, so, now is the time to test our theory on... Dairy Spangles? Test our theory on whether the Sidewinders count as pirates. Welcome, Derek Spangles. Test subject 101. Or 1. Let's see how a master Sidewinder keeps up against uh, a vulture. Oh, wait, he dies like everybody else. Got it. Alright, where's that other one? Oop, dropship. Postponed. What was that? Did anyone else hear that? That was weird. Oops. I just forget what hotkey button it is. It's one of these buttons. Ah, there we go. Oh, mine launcher. Under attack. Oh! What do you 
you think of that, buddy? Completely stayed behind you the whole time at full throttle. Huh. Your dropship is no match for the maneuverability of this little vulture. I got you, buddy. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Okay, now I saw some... Oh, right. Let's check that contract. No. Okay, so it's not counting for some reason. Uh, oh, wait. The Universal Alchemist is under attack! Oh no! We must help the Universal Alchemist! In case he ever decides to be full metal, you know. Who knows? Commander Rich Davis. Seems like some th something I've seen from a movie or something before. Scott. Sounds really familiar. Nose to nose. So I attack you. My lasers beat your chain guns. My lasers beat your guns. Take your shields. There we go. Now I can let my guns come back. I love how the Python AI, it always just, like, broadsides you. It's like, here, hit my power plant. I'll expose it for you. Just makes it really easy to hit. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. It makes Pythons a lot easier to take down, but... See, like that, he had the thrusters pointed at me and then decides, no. I just decided I want to show you the power plant. That was a good one. That was a good one. Not seeing any eagles or anything that are available. Oop, clipper. Where's the clipper? Clipper. I love when you're going through like the smaller ships and then you just find a big one. It's almost like a Christmas. You're like, yay! Big ship! More money. I didn't scan you yet. Dang it. Curse my trigger finger. Alright, now I kind of want to kind of want to baby it a little bit. Okay, now we don't. <laughs> That went a little bit faster than I expected. I'm gonna have to be careful that when I fly the clipper is that the uh, power plant's located right on the back of the nose. Right before the base of the wings widen out, so I want to make sure I don't leave that too exposed when you're in combat. Okay, uh, what's that put us at? We should be looking pretty good. Almost 700. I'm thinking we'll run probably till a million. Seems like a decent... Gosh, when did that become like the decent run? A million credits. That's ridiculous. Okay, we got a light show going on over here. What is happening? Oh, Anaconda! Flea bit. What? Oh, 179? What? Heck, yeah. Where's this power plant? power plant go? I'm doing that thing where I'm flying while not looking where I'm going again. Lucky I didn't run into a rock. But yeah, I'm thinking a million. I, I love how that's become just kind of the norm. It's like, nah, million. It's whatever. This actually works out, though, because now all of our bounties are going to the Empire. So, with every bounty we earn, we're raising our rep with them, which is awesome. Uh, so we might end up inadvertently on accident, basically stepping up to where we can do a Ascension mission, which is cool. We need to go up 
two more ranks, I think? I don't know, Baron might be right above Knight, I'm not sure. I thought it was Knight and then there was something else and then there was Baron. I can't remember though. Um, so I'm sure a million credit of bounties might actually give us some fair reputation with them. But I keep forgetting, we've never done like this... At, at the time that we were doing bounty hunting and stuff, we weren't... I wasn't getting that kind of number. Like, I wasn't able to pull in just a million in like a session, a run. Um... So, I've never really done that much with the Empire before at this level, and, um, the previous mission thing, ugh, the previous mission thing wasn't, um, ooh, look at this, it's just Christmas, um, that was all with the Alliance, dude, he's just sitting still, what is he doing? He seemed like he was sitting still. The McClay. Um. Fleabit, McClay. Dracula Bloodstone. <laughs> like, there's just been some really random names this episode. Hey, where are you going? You act like you got places to be. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I did I steal you from your from your prey? Is that what happened? My bad. That's my bad. I owe you one. Here, let me pay you back. Um... <laughs> oh, we're close. 921. Probably another good bounty. We should be, uh... repairing and ready to go! That's a Sidewinder... But yeah, so I'm not really sure what a million credits of bounties would do for our rep, because I've never been able to get that many while I was still helping the Empire. So I'm interested to see what happens. It'll be it'll be interesting. It shall be interesting. I'm not seeing anybody else. Oh, there's something. Might be something. Might just be another ship. Or, I mean, another uh, resource thing. I don't know. I think it's a ship. Question is, are you worth it? I see you. Oh, there's a few of them. Maybe it's a wing. using is no joke. Oh, that's right. Are you an unsuccessful bounty hunter? Can't get through the shields? Blah, buy the class 3 beam lasers, also known as Shields Be Gone. Now for 25,000 payments of 1995. I fight a good fight. It's because I'm a bounty hunter. I'm not I'm not a rookie anymore. I know what I'm doing. Sort of. Kind of. At least I can pass it off like I am. I can kind of act like I know what I'm doing. He's definitely working on my shields, though. He must have some heavy hitting weapons. There we go. 
feel like there might have been another. Woo! Target shields online. What? Two for one deal. Um, actually, I'm putting everything into shields for a second while we set this up. Don't look away. Dang it. Drive, drive. Where is it? Power plant. There we go. Alright, nice. Wait, I thought I scanned him already. Dang it. I'm not sure how this is going to go. It's an expert. And I have only one layer of shields. Eh. Screw it. And... Sneak attack! Let's see how long I can stay right on, on the afterburners. I'm fairly sure... I've tried it enough times. I'm pretty sure that's the Anaconda's one possible weak spot. Since of, because of the hard point location, seems like if you can stay right on the back of its thrusters, that even if it's got turrets and things, it seems like it has a hard time hitting you. Though at this point we might just want to move. Yeah, let's just move. The only bad thing is I probably shouldn't have gotten far away from him. The further away, the easier it is for him to hit me. Though, if he picks up one of the, in, uh, in Security Force, which it looks like he did, that could help me. Ow, 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 ow. Ouchie! Stop it! I just gotta keep him from hitting my canopy or my power plant. That's the biggest thing. Alright, there we go. Stop it! Stop it! Alright, we're done. We're done! That's a good time to go home. 1.09 million. Nice. Okay. I didn't need to do the galaxy map, I guess. It's just uh, over here. There it is. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, that's why the pirate thing didn't work. It's for a specific system. Wow. What would one of my episodes be without just a pinch of derpiness? Alright, so I'm going to head back to uh, Persephone and see how this affects our... If I can ever get out of this asteroid field. And uh, see how this affects our ranking. Alrighty, so we are back here at uh, Lum Lumber's Deli. Let's reload. Repair and review. Okay, just want to make sure I didn't need to <clears throat> repair again. So, all right, let's light this candle. Oh, I need to do it from this way. Forgot. All right, one million credits. What does that put us at? Top seventy. Nice. So we get a million from that already, but we are working our way up. So hopefully within a couple more runs, we could probably be in the top 40, at least, maybe 15. And, you know, hopefully we've got two more tiers to go. So we should actually make a decent amount of money. Now, what does that do for our rep? Why has our rep gone up for them instead of Quivera? Ah, Empire Assembly. There we go. Our reputation is allied, I guess, but the little marker shows that we are going up. Uh, okay. So let's see if we got anything from that. I don't see any Ascension missions or anything, so we'll just keep at it and hopefully it'll come up. Um, We do have that one mission that 
we can probably do in the next episode or in between there somewhere that is um, the Slaves mission, which is just reputation game, which we could totally use. So let me know what you guys think on where a good spot from... Uh, where are we? Persephone? Per something like that. Whoa! Controls. Yeah, Persephone. So let me know around that area if there's any good place that's um, easy to get slaves or something like that so we can bring them back here and get the reputation bonus. Um, let me know what you guys think about all that. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.